This assessment slide is going to showcase another tool called the Text Entry Box. I'm going to preview what I've done already, starting from this slide. In the same assessment session, is now highlighting a specific area of the car and is asking what part of the car is that one. So I'm going to click into the text field and going to type in wipers liquid tube. And then I press submit. It will recognize this one as the correct answer and will carry on with the presentation. How have I achieved this one? I'm going to replicate it here in the project area. These have been created using uh, the text entry box that creates uh, two items on our slides. One is the text entry field and the other one is the submit button. I'm going to remove it from our timeline so we can start all over. I'm going to click on the text entry box uh, icon on the left hand side and it's going to add the two items. Now, it's a little bit complicated to see what's happening on the screen now because uh, certain areas are overlapping. In particular, this box is quite bulky and it's obstructing what's happening behind. So I'm going to move the box, uh, the little white box actually, towards the left and the big box will follow. You notice that uh, this tool, the text entry box, comes with uh, the same usual types assess uh, text here, type failure text here, and type hint text here. So unless you want to use these three captions, you don't uh, need to have them into the slide. And uh, in order to remove them, I'm going to click on the text entry box again, and scrolling in the property area on the right hand side, I will reach the part that says options. And here in options, I'm going to turn off uh, success, failure and hint. When I go back to the view, you see they are gone. So you can hide and show at any point in time. I'm going to then work with uh, my submit button. If you want to change the caption for a submit button, you can just type it here under general properties of the submit button. Here we can type something like answer and automatically the button will update. I normally prefer to have the text entry field positioned just beside the actual area that I am highlighting, but this is just a personal choice, I guess. You can scale up and down the box as much as you prefer. Normally, I prefer to keep the box long if I want to hint that this is going to be a long answer. I prefer to keep this one short if I want to hint that this is going to be a short answer. For instance, in this case, the answer might be wipers liquid or it might be wipers liquid tube. If I want them to answer wipers liquid tube, then I will stretch this one longer to hint that type of answer. Here under correct entries, I have a plus button. Every time I press plus, it lets me key in what I accept as a correct answer. I want to scroll down a little bit just to highlight that at the bottom of this box we also have an option to make it case sensitive. This one could be useful if you are intending to use the text entry tool as a password tool. In this case I'm okay with both the uppercase or lowercase, so I will just type what I think is correct answer, like wipers, liquid, tube. I can also add additional accepted answers. In that case, I want to allow our e-learners to type anything else, such as wipers, liquid, container, or anything along that line. I will also allow a answer like the wipers, liquid, in case they don't want to spell the entire tube or container. And I'm going to add also another option here that says wiper only with no S at the end. If you are very flexible, you can also allow 
your user to make a typo. Normally I do it uh, when uh, a word is difficult to be spelled. In this case, I don't think it's gonna be the case, but you might consider to have other options for those difficult words. That's pretty much all. I just click outside and test this slide one more time just by clicking on preview from this slide. If I try to type any entry that is not accepted and press answer, it will not let me proceed. If I had a failure caption, I could use failure caption to prompt that the answer is not correct. In this case, I prefer not to use that solution. I would just type wipers, liquid, tube, and press answer. And uh, I will proceed to the next part. However, you notice that the, the caption should appear before the highlight area appears. So all I need to do to fix this little issue is in the timeline to shift the answers after the highlight box. So highlight box occur first and text entry box happen next. One last preview. So we will load the picture, it will highlight on that area and then will prompt me with the text entry. Any entry that I have considered acceptable will let Captivate progress to the next slide.